and hello this is the video walkthrough for lab 10. Um, lab 10 may be a little bit confusing or uh, confused with the older videos but i'm just going to give it to you what essentially what i'm looking for which is what the top section is uh, so i'm looking for uh, six widgets a win level one a win level two a lose a pause an options menu widget and a main menu widget so i need to see all six of those so one two three four five six and then in maps we should see a main menu map an options menu map a level one map and a level two map uh, so if we were to follow the videos um, so if you watched if you go back and you watch the class for uh, April, if I'm not mistaken, it would be April the 13th, which should be class number 23. Uh, I go over the whole class is dedicated to menus and creating the, the menu screen. If you follow that, I give you the streamlined version. If you have followed the videos here, yours will look a little bit different as far as the code. Essentially, what I need to see is if uh, I need you to open up each one of those widgets I need you to show me the designer. I need you to show me the graph. Then I would like you to open up the blueprint widget and then show me the code that are in there for um, for the level, how you're getting everything to work. Uh, if there is one, uh, there may not be one in every single one, but go ahead and open up the blueprint wizard and um, and show me that that uh, that 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 maybe not for the options menu, definitely maybe for the main menu. I'll go back and I'll check as as we do this uh 10c you don't have to show me anything because it it is um if you show me that menu uh that the main menu goes back to the options menu and then that goes back then you've shown me essentially what what uh, 10c is uh the win widgets i need to see two one for level one one for level two open up the widget uh, open up the designer, open up the graph, show me how everything, uh, show me in the designer I want to see anchor points, detail panel, hierarchy panel. In the graph I want to see um, the buttons and the code that's set up for the buttons for that. Do the same thing with the lose widget, open up the designer, show me the things that I'm looking for there. The graph, show me the things that I'm looking for there. And then to test both of these, I want you to go ahead and start the game, run through uh, level one, get to the end of it, show me that the win widgets show up, that they're the correct ones that show up for level one and level two, and then lose. Uh, remember that in the videos above, we set up a kill zone. So if you, uh, if you turned in your videos and I see that they are following, uh, the older videos, I won't worry about the kill zone. If I see that you are following the newer videos based on the way that your code looks, uh, then I will count this in. Um, you're always welcome to go back and add that. Uh, the kill volume to the bottom uh, so then that way it'll work in uh, if you have it for the older ones but don't worry about it if you've already turned this in uh, from there I'll need to see that obviously the win and the lose screens are, are working now from there lab uh, lab 10 e was corrections that were made to the previous uh, video because the video was starting to get too long so anything that is here which were the corrections to my mistakes um, I'll see when these are working uh, from there, we have the pause menu. So uh, show me the pause menu, open up the widget, show me the designer, the graph. And then from there, show me that this opens up when you hit the letter P on your keyboard and that both of the buttons work. From there, the end level game pause. Um, if you're following the information up here or the past video, uh, the class, class number 23, then this is taken care of already. I'll be able to see that the video is pausing. Uh, but if you're using the older video where it comes up uh, with a with like an image in the background, like the big square, the big uh, green and red squares that I asked you to create, uh, then I'll need to see this in your code. So either way, when you scan through your blueprints, I'll see that it's there. Uh, otherwise, I'll see it when the game's uh, when the when you get to the end or when you die that the game freezes that it doesn't continue to keep going. Um, okay, so that's the explanation of this and why. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that you understood depending on which route that you went. Uh, from here, uh, we'll actually do the walkthrough for the video itself. Uh, so basically, here are the widgets. Oops, didn't want to do that. So here are the widgets down there. If you go ahead and open up each one of these, oh, I think I'm still in play mode. Okay. So let's just close this. 
So I've opened up the first one, the second one, third one, Okay, so if you will already have these in the correct order, this will make this a lot easier. So first is the level one widget. I see that I have both of those. There's the two buttons. Um, I can see the hierarchy panel. All you have to do is just, you don't even have to explain, just hover, just leave it here for like five seconds. I can see, so I can pause the, 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 the video, see what you've created, and then switch over to the graph side, and I'll be able to see that the buttons are, are there and they're connected to the right place. Again, just leave it here for five seconds, so then that way I can, I can see it. So same thing, level two, pause, five seconds, Then go to the graph, pause, go to lose widget, pause, go to the graph, pause, go to the main menu widget, pause, Make sure that I can see all this stuff. Now that I'm thinking about it, make sure that this is visible enough for me to be able to see and that I also have enough space on the details panel. Go to the graph, pause. Options menu widget, pause. Go to the graph, pause. Go to the game, pause, and pause. Go to graph, pause. Okay, so once we've done that, I've been able to check, uh, I should have been able to see everything that I need to from each one of those to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, from there, you can go ahead and close those out. And what I'll need you to do is go to your main menu, and we're going to run through every scenario that these buttons have. So we'll push play, quit game, play, go to the options menu, hit options. That should bring us back. Shouldn't go anywhere. Go back to main menu, go to gameplay. That should take us to level one. Show me that it says level one. Okay. Run into whatever target zone, uh, the kill zone that you've set up, whether it be off the platform or something in the level. Uh, return to main menu when you die. Play the game. Level one. Die. Uh, restart the level. Level one. Uh, set up some type of an enemy character, one, two, three, however many times it takes you to lose. Uh, try to make that fast. Give the, you know, don't have it to where it's like 100 shots to die. Uh, just make it like one, two, three, and then you're dead. Uh, from there, uh, since this is the lose screen, again, uh, we'll restart the level because we've already checked the main menu. Remember, there's only one of these screens. So now that we've checked all the lose contingents for level one, Let's go to the target. So this is that one. We'll return to main menu, push play. We'll now hit the other button. I can see that it's frozen. Go to next level. That should take me to level two. Die in level two. Um, we don't need to check that button again. So we'll restart the level. We'll check that we're in level two. We'll die via the other method. We'll restart again, still in level two. And with this one, remember that we programmed this one. Uh, this is a new lose, uh, win screen, so we do need to check the main button again. So that should return us to the main menu. We'll play game. We'll run over to the trigger box again. That was level one. 
go to level two again. And the last button that we need to check, well, not we still have the pause menu, but the last button here that we need to check is go to next level. That should take us back to level two. I'm gonna walk, hit the letter P. I wanna quit game, we're in level two. Quit game. Okay, we'll push play again. Play the game, we're in level one. We'll walk, we'll hit the letter P. We've already checked the quit game, but we can check it again. I mean, if in level one, it should do the same thing. We'll hit resume game. And then what I need you to do is walk around and shoot and show me that you are indeed unpaused. And at that point, you've showed me every variation that we needed. Uh, you've shown me down here that we have the six uh, widgets that I'm looking for, plus the four levels that we set up for this and that everything is working. So that is what I will need you to send me to show me that everything is verifiable and it works uh, for your level, uh, for your lab 10. Okay, uh, hope you found the video uh, educational, I don't even wanna say educational, informative, and that you'll be able to turn in your projects. All right, uh, have a wonderful day, bye-bye.